The Gowalia Tank Maidan, today known as the August Kranti Maidan in central Mumbai, played host to one of the most crucial milestones in India's march to freedom. It was here on the 8th of August 1942 that a frustrated All India Congress committee passed the historic Quit India resolution. But did you know that the Congress was forced to launch this massive act of defiance due to failed negotiations with the British? In the provincial elections of 1937, the Congress had won in 7 of the 11 provinces indicating the people's support for complete self-rule. Subsequently, Congress politicians demonstrated an ability to govern that augured well for an independent India. Britain and India considered this a step towards an amicable parting of ways. But when the Second World War broke out in 1939, the Viceroy of India, Lord Linlithgow, declared India alongside Britain at war with Hitler's Germany. This declaration was made without consulting elected Indian representatives. Britain, which was making preparations to leave India, now needed India. In its war against Germany and then Japan, the British were desperate to retain access to resources in men and material as well as the secure bases that India offered. Linlithgow's declaration met with strong opposition and the Congress ministries in the provinces resigned. They informed the Viceroy that they would only support the war effort if Indian independence lay at the end of it. Linlithgow responded with a threat of his own. He said that if the Congress didn't support Britain, Britain would simply turn to and empower the Muslim League. The Congress was left with little choice and it backed off. But in March 1942, faced with an increasingly dissatisfied subcontinent which was only reluctantly participating in the war and faced with a deterioration in the war situation in Europe and Southeast Asia, Prime Minister Winston Churchill felt enough pressure to send Stanford Cripps, a member of the War Cabinet, to discuss a change in India's political status. However, upon learning that Cripps was offering only dominion status instead of full independence, both the Congress and the Muslim League rejected the proposal. With no chance of a dialogue in sight, the Congress launched the Quit India movement. At the same meeting at Gowalia Tank in Mumbai, Gandhi announced his mantra of do or die. He said Here is a mantra, a short one that I give to you. You may imprint it on your hearts and let every breath of yours give expression to it. The mantra is do or die. We shall either free India or die in the attempt. We shall not live to see the perpetuation of our slavery. The next day, all senior leaders including Mahatma Gandhi Jawaharlal Nehru and Abdul Kalam Azad were arrested on charges of sedition and they remained in jail for 3 years without a trial till the end of the Second World War in 1945. But Indians had imprinted Gandhi's message of non-cooperation on their hearts and people across the country from Bombay to Delhi to Bengal took to the streets and protested vigorously. Youngsters such as Jay Prakash Narayan, Aruna Safali, SM Joshi, Ram Manohar Lohia and Usha Mehta helped to fuel the momentum. But soon the crowd started to become violent and there were no leaders to control them. They attacked government property and communication systems. The British responded brutally and arrested over 100,000 demonstrators. The movement was completely suppressed in 1944. The Quit India movement is often seen as a campaign that failed. It may have failed to achieve independence immediately, but it convinced the British that the demand for independence could no longer be ignored. The movement acted as a final push and a war-weary Britain had to give in.